Welcome back. All right, the Jacks Icemen, they are back for their first home game of the year and the decade, really. They're taking on the Brampton Beast at the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena this Saturday. But there's a lot happening off the ice this game, too. And here to tell us about it is Alex Reed. So glad to have you on again. Thank you for my hat, by the way. Uh, not a problem. <laughs> and, uh, obviously, this weekend, uh, a lot of people get their hands on these hats. Oh, yeah. I love these things. All right, so uh, before we dive into the game that's happening this Saturday, big thing that happened right before the holidays, the teddy bear toss. Yeah, you know, it's one of the biggest games of the year, uh, and it was such a great night. Uh, we, had a, we had a great crowd on hand, and uh, we collected over 11,000 teddy bears. I mean, just, it was just a sight to see, to see them all rain down onto the ice, and of course it all goes to charity uh, here locally. Yeah, 11,000 11, teddy bears. 11,000. What was the goal? Uh, the goal was 10,000, so we, we did over 11,000. I want to say 11,700, 11,300, yeah. around that range. But, uh, yeah, we, we beat the record, so now we set the bar high for next year's game, uh, next December, So, uh, but it was great. And our, our fans were awesome, and everyone came out and uh, put some smiles on some children's faces this year as they were getting some gifts this season. Definitely. Now, i got to say, we I remember uh, I think the uh, number before that was 6,000. We came close to doubling that number this year, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> hopefully we'll double it again uh, come December. So let's talk about the game this Saturday. What mm -hmm. is happening? Lots are happening this Saturday. And obviously, you showed the, off the hats here. The first 3,000 uh, fans are going to receive these really cool uh, Jacks Iceman hats as part of our giveaway. And then uh, it's also. So you're getting a free hat as soon as you come in if you're, you, yeah. you said the first one? First 3,000. First 3,000. Yeah. So get there nice. early. Yeah, okay. and you get your hands on one of these cool hats here. So, um, and that's a great promotion. It's, it's our new uh, you know, third alternate logo. So yeah. people get their hands on that. And then, of course, it's uh, Autism Awareness Night. The team will be wearing uh, specialty jerseys uh, then with proceeds of the jersey auction as well as uh, a portion of ticket sales on our website um, will go towards uh, autism uh, charities here locally as well. So uh, it was a big hit last year. And uh, then, of course, we have a big surprise uh, announcement, let's say, coming up in the first intermission. So there's a, a lot to be had here. And uh, it's the first game, as you said, yeah. of, of the decade, let's of say, course. of 2020. We're really excited about it. All right, it. now you said a big announcement, Alex. Yeah. Can we have a hint? Um, don't worry, it stays just between no, you and me. No, 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 no okay. hints, no hints. I, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can't. Uh, you got to come to the game to find out the announcement. But I, what I can sure tell you, you though, about the, the announcement is um, it's something that I think uh, uh, you know, fans uh, will be happy about and excited about. And then, of course, uh, it, it's good for the city of Jacksonville as well. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. a big, big announcement. Big, big announcement. I can't wait. I'm First gonna intermission. Get, there you go. All right. So you're going to have to be there for that. Um, where can people get their tickets? Uh, they go to Ticketmaster.com or JacksIceman.com. And of course, you can uh, always swing by the, uh, the, the arena at the box office there and pick them up as well. But uh, we are expecting a big crowd, so uh, best to get them early. Uh, but uh, uh, it should be a lot of fun. Said so a lot, lot of happening now. Uh, taking on a team we don't see very often in the Brampton Beast. So there's uh, lots of reasons to come out. It's all about family fun, and it's been a while uh, since yeah. we've been at home. Oh my goodness, uh, well over a month. So uh, we're excited about it. All right, first home game of the decade. Now you get a chance to kind of delve into uh, the kind of sports, more of the sports aspect of it. So taking on. Well, what do you think will happen kind of come in this game? What are you, what are you expecting Ooh, on the team? Yeah, you know, uh, we've made a, lot, a few changes uh, on our roster, so you know, things are starting to get going here. The team does need to piece uh, together some wins. They're going to have a very tough test against a, a Brampton team that hails out of Canada, uh, and then they're going to be coming down south here, and they've already taken on a couple teams and picked up a few big wins. So we got our hands full, but I think our guys are up to the task, um, especially returning home. And, in fact, now as we're in 2020, a uh, majority of our home games are going to start getting going here, uh, so there's going to be plenty of opportunity for the team uh, for fans to catch the team and, and for our team to actually be at home playing because yeah. we've been on the road mostly the first half of the year. I love it. So this game is really going to set the tone for the year. We got <laughs> coming in with a big challenge, but I think we can take them on. And if not, you're going to get an awesome hat and a great time at the game. Yeah. And it's all going to a good cause. Of course, you can catch this information again on our website at firstcoastliving.net.